I could actually feel my toes, but when I looked, there was nothing. It was like a woo-woo experience. Creepy. Swinging it. Hello, my name is Diane. We are butterflies going through life, dodging, healing, and empowering. Lately, you guys have been requesting videos about my toes. What happened to my toes? How did they become burnt green? How did I lose my toes? I have um, actually made a couple of videos about my toes and I've given you guys a lot of details so you guys enjoy them, okay? I used to love my toes. I never cared for manicure but I always, always had to have my pedicure. I never cared to pamper myself, but I needed to get my pedicure done all the time. I was always, always looking for a nice foot massage from my husband and my kids. They all knew the way to my heart was through my feet. <laughs> it took me quite some time to find, finally accept that I was going to have to part with my toes. I was gonna have to say goodbye to my toes. The link to the story about me parting ways with my toes is up there. After my amputation, things were going really well, including my healing. My feet were often wrapped in thick layers of bandage. I was going once a week to see my doctor for a dressing change. After a little while, as my toes were healing nicely, I no longer needed Gozes and bandages. This is when reality began to set in. I could feel tingling, itchiness, pressure-like feelings. I could even rub my toes together. That's how weird it was. I could feel the sheets on my bed. Even describe how they fell, although I did not have any toes. I would stand on my toes and feel like I was standing on all of my toes. And when I would look, Nothing. It has been reported to happen to 80 to 100% of amputees. Yes, it is more common than we think. I kept trying to find ways to make it feel better. Adding pressure to the missing toes I found was helpful. I would tie them really tight using bandages. I will always keep my toes out of my sight. So out of your mind, out of your sight or out of your sight out of your mind kind of you know thing going on and that did help too with time i was i got used and i finally decided to fall in love with myself again to fall in love with my body again to fall in love with my toes again i fell in love with my feet i embraced my missing toes. I mean, I had these toes forever. There was a beautiful relationship there. Even with the circumstances, my toes stay loyal to me. Although my two eyes could not see them any longer, because obviously they no longer existed physically, but their energy is still here with me. Understanding this made my healing process easier and I was off to doing things that I always thought would limit me because of my amputated toes. I started feeling whole again because in fact, I was never ever less than whole. I was always whole. I never stopped being whole. I hope this little story will help you feel like yourself again. It does not matter in what state you currently are it does not matter in what situation you are. Do never ever give up because there is always, always light at the end of the tunnel. Everything is a process. Start your little process. Just like a butterfly, you will see your way through it. If you guys like this, make sure you give me a thumb up and please please subscribe and do not forget to click on the notification bell so you no longer miss any of my videos only love here see you next time enjoy the rest of your day